Coronavirus is bringing much of society to a standstill, and from Friday, it will empty the country's classrooms. Millions of children told to stay at home, the latest attempt by the Prime Minister to slow the spread. After schools shut their gates from Friday afternoon, they will remain closed for most pupils, for the vast majority of pupils, until further notice. The objective is to slow the spread of the virus, and as I say, we judge that this is the right moment to do that. It means from Monday, schools will only stay open to look after the children of key workers, such as NHS staff and food delivery drivers, as well as vulnerable pupils. Children who receive free school meals could be given food vouchers or continued access to school lunches, and the closures mean the cancellation of all SATs, GCSEs and A-level exams scheduled for May and June. The question, how will students get their results? Boris Johnson doesn't yet have the answer. But when it comes to kids and their, and their exam qualifications, we will make sure that they are not impeded, their progress is not impeded as a result of the decisions uh, we're having to take now about their schools. So, so they will get, uh, we will make sure that in time they get the qualifications they need. As to why this is all happening now, the chief scientific advisor was able to explain. It's not because schools are dangerous places for children. They're not. Children have a very mild or asymptomatic version of this disease in many cases. The reason for this is because of the effect it can have just to knock down further the transmission, the put some delay into the system, put some breaks into the system of the transmission of this disease. Nurseries and private schools have also been asked to close, meaning millions of children will be at home and millions of parents will be off work or out of pocket, a problem Labour says has not been addressed. All those families now who will not be able to work as a result of their children being at home, they need that reassurance as well and that financial support for them as well. And do you think they've had that assurance yet? Not yet. I'll be pushing the government to make sure that happens. And I, I know that the Secretary of State for Education is working with the Treasury at the moment. I think the Treasury needs to have a size 10 up it. It needs to really start to really boost what we're going to do to support individual workers and support families. This was a move the government didn't want to make, but one that became inevitable. This primary school in Doncaster didn't wait to be told it must help its most vulnerable. They've been sending packed lunches to its pupils already in isolation, and with each, a message from their classmates who'll soon be joining them. Daniel Hewitt, News at 10.